Welcome to Get It Trigger. In this video, the stay load losses of transformer will be explained. Here, types of stay load losses will be discussed and how the stay load loss can be reduced is also be explained. Now, stay load loss of transformer can be classified into two categories. One is stay load copper loss and another is the steel load iron loss. First start steel load copper loss. Suppose this is the coil of the transformer either primary or secondary and the current passing through the coil is IL that is the load current. Now let us consider the coil or conductor is a solid conductor. The current is IL here. Conductor has a diameter of D. Now here current IL proportional to cross section area A of the conductor. The skin effect is proportional to d square diameter per square higher the diameter higher the skin effect due to this skin effect a current will circulate to the surface area of the conductor in this direction throughout the surface of the conductor this current is called a stray current. And the additional resistive losses due to this stray current is called stray load copper loss. That means additional, this is the additional resistive loss due to stray current. The stray load copper loss, it depends on the load current IL. IL. It depends load current IL. Since load current is a variable parameter, therefore, a still load loss, a still load copper loss is also a variable parameter. Now, how to reduce the steel load copper loss? The steel load copper loss can be reduced by decreasing the solidness of the conductor. That means, suppose the load current is 25 ampere. Instead of use a single conductor of rating 25 ampere, if I use a multi stand wire of a smaller diameter, suppose this is the 5 conductors of 5 ampere each, this is 5 ampere, 5 ampere, 5 ampere, 5 ampere and 5 ampere. 
total is the 25 ampere. And this is the multi stand wire. And this is solid conductor of single stand wire. Let the diameter of each stand is D1 and the diameter D1 is very very less than of the diameter D of the single stand wire and skin effect is proportional to diameter square. Therefore, here in the multi stand wire the skin effect will be very less, skin effect here in this case spin effect will be very less. Therefore, the stick current also will be very less and therefore, ST load copper loss will also be less. Here each stand is coated with insulating material that is called enamel coating. So, we can conclude that by using a multi stand wire of a smaller diameter the stay load copper loss is reduced to reduce stray load copper loss. Now start stay load iron loss. Whenever current is flowing through the transformer winding, a leakage flux will be produced. The sum of the leakage flux will link with the transformer tank, transformer conser conservator and other parts also. The losses in the transformer different auxiliary parts like transformer tank, conservator, Due to this leakage flux is called a stay load iron loss. To reduce the stay load iron loss in the core type transformer, interleaved nature of winding is used. That means in core type transformer, suppose this is the core. Near the core, we place the low voltage winding. This is low voltage winding. And above the low voltage winding, we place high voltage winding. This is your high voltage winding. This is called interleaved nature of winding. Due to this interleaved winding, the leakage flux phi of L will be reduced. Therefore, the stay load iron loss will also be reduced. Again, in the shell type transformer, to reduce the stay load iron loss, the sandwich nature of winding is used. That means, in the This is the core type transformer, this is the shell type transformer. Here near the yoke low voltage winding is used, this is your low voltage and here high voltage winding is used. This type of winding is called sandwich nature of winding. Here this is called interleaved. nature of winding. Due to sandwich nature of winding in shell type transformer and interleaved nature of winding in the core type transformer, leakage flux will be reduced. As a result, still load iron loss 
will be reduced. Here in the core type transformer, ST load iron loss W of SI. Here W of SI in core type transformer will be greater than ST load iron loss in shell type transformer. Since here leakage flux is more, therefore more ST load iron loss. The ST load iron loss depends upon the current IL. It depends upon load current IL. Since load current is variable, it depends upon the type of load. Therefore, stay load loss also a variable parameter. Here, the stay load loss is approximately Point five percent of total loss of transformer. Very, very small value. Thank you for watching this video i think we have a clear concept or idea about the steel load losses of transformer